and welcome back to BWA. It's William Cunningham right here. And I'm Alan Brew with you. And we're, we're, we're waiting on an anticipate. Well, it was anticipated up until I heard the music of a despicable piece of shit that I utterly disdain. I really don't like any of these motherfuckers personally. But that's just Alan Brew for you. And right now, coming out, nonetheless, they are some fantastic athletes, but they have some pieces of shit coming out right now. And this should be the music of one Ryan Stevens. Oh my god, no, this is just. This is just POS. Oh, wait a minute. I did forget, excuse me, I did state earlier that Robbie Wayne was the United States champion. I am completely wrong because I forgot that at Eclipse, Ryan Stevens became the new United States champion. It looks better on my shoulder than Robbie's, doesn't it? Can it, fit, can it fit around your waist, though? Can it fit around his waist? We got POS coming out here. POS has most of the gold Yes, they have, they have the United States and the Intercontinental Champion. They used to have, they used to have like three titles, if I'm not mistaken, the Intercontinental United States. They've been passing around, uh, is, uh, is also the Internet Championship. But right now... Absolutely dominating the mid-card division. Yes, most definitely. They've just been dominating in, in general in the BWA. They, they just have not been going after the Tag Team Championships or the Undisputed Championships. They've been doing their own thing because they are who they are. But right now, is this the tag? Is this the anticipated tag team match? It is. It is. This is the anticipated match. The POS versus technically great. William Chan Wright coming out here. And there he is. There they are. Technically great. DJ Carter, 100% technical greatness. Samuel Masters. And say what you want about any of these men on Team POS. Any of the two men on Technically Great, these men can go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what he just said, but I think he said fuck, and I think somebody like stuck something up his ass. But back to this, back to this entrance at hand, where we got POS trying to step back, step back, because DJ Carter is one, he, he he ain't no joke. Not one of them, some, not one of them are jokes at all. Former top champions, former tag team champions, they're, they're technically great. There you are. There you have it. And it seems to me that the, the two champions are actually in this tag team match. The two champions of POS are in this tag team match. Ryan Stevens, who's also in the Ascension Tournament, if I'm not mistaken, along with Killswitch, who's actually not in the Ascension Tournament. But regardless, wait a minute, is Ryan Stevens? He can't be in the Ascension Tournament. He was a former top champion. No, I don't think he's at. I think there's somebody else in there. You're in for one hell of a treat this match. This should be one hard hitting, fast paced action of a match. Do, which is right now, so yes, you do. let me do this. Introducing first, standing in the corner to my right, the team of the Intercontinental Champion and longest reigning champion in BWA history, Hugh Flinch, and your current United States Champion. And they will be soon to be your tag team champions. It would have happened tonight if it had not been for the fact that nah, one of the stars right, had on. no stars to show up. The technical masterpiece, DJ Carter and Chris and Samuel Master, technically great! And there you have it. We have all the competitors. They have 
been introduced. It's been about five minutes of intro and five minutes of entrances, and we should be getting underway. And Ray, we are right there. Bella started. Both men in the ring. We have DJ Carter starting out for Technically Great. Ryan Stevens tar starting out for Team POS. This should be one hard hitting. And Ryan Stevens getting in the face of Sam and Masters. He was adjusting his gear, goddammit. There's no, I don't think there's gonna be any type of lockout. They, 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 they both men are, they both men are, are top, former top champions, his, very accomplished. Showing his reach advantage here. Yes, definitely his reach and his kick advantage for the simple fact that he needs to use those legs and his speed to get around Ryan Stevens and get the better of him. But apparently he did not get around him. He definitely got caught really quickly. Trying to hold on to that leg, using that amateur wrestling. Oh, into his wrist lock. Into this nice cinched in wrist lock right now. Oh my god. And a stiff elbow strike. Probably a forearm, maybe an elbow. I couldn't tell. But I do know Ryan Stevens loves to use it, utilize his elbow. So it could have been. And right there, William Champ Wright trying to trying to pump up his advocate's head, trying to make sure, who trying to tell him that you know it was a lucky shot, reassuring him is, is the word for it. Brian Stevens waiting for his opponent, and the count going on to three. I know you can't make his kill in that, so why don't you Yeah, right. And right now we got the advocate William Cham Wright and the shit talker uh, POS definitely definitely uh, Kazama both of them going at it with the words but now we have greatness Sam the Masters and Kill Switch longest reigning BWA longest reigning title title holder in the BWA. Yeah, right. Oh, stepping on the foot of Masters. They have a snap man right there. Jesus. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. These two are just, uh, these two are just fighting it out. These two are like, these two know each other so well, they just started fighting. Kill switch getting the better. And a nice cinched in head, nice cinched in chin lock right there. We have three men in, in this match who have a lot of hair. Is any of it going to be utilized? Into his wrist out of his arm. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it is it is technically a submission. Oh, yeah. Definitely wants to give up to that. No. Right there, we have a nice cinched in, nice deeply cinched in uh, hammerlock. It well, it was deeply cinched in. Oh my goodness, into a nice headlock. Into a headlock of his own, into a pinning predicament, into a uh, well, head back to his headlock, back to this pinning predicament, back to this headlock. And getting out of that headlock, into a chancery, into a gator roll. Same hat that no one wants, which is the same color popsicle no one eats. Well, shades up, Austin Aries. Definitely was like Double banana sickle? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. We have a nice waist lock. We had kill switch shoot in and hit him with a nice waist lock. Only thing you can is burgers. That's so original. Oh, and the elbow to the back of the head. Another one. And another one. 
Oh, the boot, straight boot to the face. No wrestling involved right there. That's a straight strike. And a no count. Oh my gosh, and a spinal tap to the back. Well, obviously, spinal tap. Got him with that rear chin lock right there. And a shoulder block. Uh -oh. And a two count. And greatness in Samuel Mass is definitely showing out right now. I'm definitely having firm control. Excuse, excuse my nonchalantness. I, I, I have been commentating for a while. I'm hoping my voice just doesn't give out during this match. This match is definitely, definitely, definitely incredible. Holding down, holding down that arm. Oh my gosh, and stomping that, stomping them right into the mat. His arm's gotta be really, and it's a tag made. But he got the tag, regardless, of, and super kick in that hand. You gonna pin him at the super kick in his hand? Regardless of it being a tag move, I mean, I don't see it being as effective as it should. Ooh, and a kick to his arm. Hurts Donut, he just gave him a Hurts Donut. Oh, uh, into a headlock. Oh, into a Simpson chin lock right there. Sleep. That is wrestling, it is a, it is a submission right there. And right now, Chris Kazama getting in the face of a fan right there. That is very, that, what kind of shit is that? What kind of piece of shit type of dip? Well, you know what? Back to this match at hand. Where DJ Carter, DJ Carter is in, well, he was in a headlock. Into a pin. And chopping, I'm guessing chopping the rib. I know, referee Sami Zayn in the ring right there. Okay. Yeah, right. And a knee strike to the gut. Oh, and a chest. Oh, and a nice kick. But as, if, DJ ain't, if DJ ain't known for something, he definitely known for his kicks and his strikes. And, Shades of Chris Jericho up until he got chopped in the leg. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious, whipping that, whipping that leg. It's, it's, Jesus. Jesus. Did he now? Oh, into an Indian death lock. Hey, no, that's disgusting. It's there. It is there, but that is extra disgusting. Hey, 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 you got both men right here. This is... Getting, barely getting that bottom rope is DJ Carter. Hold on now. He grabbed his hair. He grabbed his hair. He should have broke that count. He is breaking the face. Jeez, and a punch. And a punch to the face right there. Straight, straight stiff shotting right there. I know. There's a lot of hair in this match, I tell you what. And right there, Ryan Stevens getting that tag in. Oh my gosh, and kicking the leg that kill switch, that kill switch was holding it was Ryan Stevens. Oh my gosh, a man's leg is not supposed to bend that way. Breaking the face, come on, you gotta make that count. And breaking the count right there is, is, is Ryan Stevens. But stepping on the knee, god damn. This is just, oh my god. Two big doubles. We'll get 29 Sir, what in the hell are you talking about? Come on now, this is just, this is just some dirty, despicable action. Come on now. Why would you even want to be a piece of shit anyway? I'm cleaner than shit. Come on now, I clean myself every day. 
<laughs> but that was a straight boot by Ryan Stevens right there, by the way. Come on, DJ. K.O. Oh, and a chop to the chest of DJ Carter. If he wasn't going to get any darker, that's the only way he was going to get it, unless he was getting that tan. Oh, and a punch to the rib section. And another one. And the high rate. Doing something a little different. It's a little different. <laughs> God damn. Hey, are you alright? This is just some this is just some ignorant shit. Fuck your food. Uh oh. I think DJ Carter I think DJ Carter's getting in reverse. Oh my gosh, into a suplex. Uh, a nice snap suplex right there at that. And barely get, barely getting that shoulder up. Barely, barely a two count at that. Oh my gosh, what's he going for? I think he's got him in a, in a form of a, oh my gosh, is that a triangle choke? That is definitely a form of a, that's not all on his Well, I, you're right. Definitely a form of a triangle choke right there. Yeah, it's definitely a, a triangle choke form. His arm is definitely, definitely there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He bit him. He bit him. Oh my gosh. The savagery. He smacked his phone here. He did. DJ Carl looked like a weekend. Oh my gosh. And a roaring elbow. What is going on? What is happening? What are you talking about over there? And a kip up. Boy, that kip up look like your daddy merciless. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> and a kick to the chest. Multiple kicks right there. And definitely, I, I don't know what to call that. Look. I, and a choke. Greatness. I mean, it looked like he was trying to pin him, but I think he was choking him. He's a come here, bitch. And a core buster. Jeez. Yeah, that gore buster was just definitely, he definitely bounced him off the mat or that one. He definitely recalled that mat. No one does that anymore. Gore buster? That is awesome. I don't care what you do. Uh, and then it looks like the, oh my god! A snapping head scissors takedown! God damn! Definitely debatably one of the greatest high flies in the BWA history is kill switch. That head scissors spiking Samuel Masters definitely straight on his dome. Uh-oh! He, he hit it! He hit the best moon song. He just hit the best moonsault ever. See, we barely see him do that ever since he went with, he, well, became a member of Team POS. We've seen the best elbow ever, but we have not, uh, the best stomp ever, but we have not seen the best moonsault ever in a while. And Ryan Stevens is in the ring. Chris Kazama is right now creating a fire hazard because we need to escape whenever it, ha if it happens. I was thinking the perfect 10. 
Oh, Sam is a skinny dude? Yes, that is a perfect 10. But I'm going to say this, though. Chris Kazama right now is being a fire hazard because we need to escape. We do need to go through here. <laughs> and, Chris, and Chris Tazama, if you didn't know, Chris Tazama was just dared by DJ Carter to go over. Oh, wait, they're coming over here. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. And right now, an Irish whip. I don't care what your mom says. I don't care what your mom says. There's a fan right next to me. But right now, we got referee Sami Zayn. He needs to check on all the action because, because definitely. DJ Carter is being surrounded by some vultures that are POS and a back chop and a boot to the head. And I think. And right now, oh my God. Oh, he just gave him all of his body, all of all of his life with that senton right there. Stay inside. Wait, wait a minute. Damn! He got in that so he got in that ring so quick. He got in there with the lightning speed of the flash right there. I don't think the only person I could see getting in the ring faster is Kill Switch, and he didn't need to be in that ring. I said that was the fastest anybody I've seen get in that ring real quick. I said I think the only person that I would have saw got in that ring faster at that moment is Kill Switch. But right now, breaking up that two count, breaking up that pen, into a net breaker. Oh my gosh! What a miser of us! I did. Two. Well, he gave that nigga one hell of a reality check. Oh my gosh, DJ trying to make a tag. Kicking, kicking, uh, kicking Chris Kazama. And DJ Carter. And DJ Carter had to get away from Chris Kazama. He had to kick him real quick. Kick him real quick. He is down. That big couple of lot is down right now. And and DJ Carter made the tag, but the ref did not see the tag whatsoever. And the ref made sure he had to see the tag. Ryan Stevens being, the, being smart, getting his freshman in there. Yeah, this nigga yelling obsolete. Uh oh. Is Kill Switch going for them 450 knees? Oh, no. Well, right now, I think his nuts are obsolete. Oh, oh my God! Wait a minute! He just deleted him with that lawn dart. He just staggered him all the way back into a sick kick. He's gonna need to cover. He's either gonna need to cover or make a tag because I, he needs to capitalize right now. That flurry. Broken. William P. Wheeler. Broken. Why are you broken? Oh my gosh, and stopping him from getting inside this match. Oh my gosh! And a, and a sickening brain buster. One, two. And kill switch. You come forth to try to make Samuel Masters obsolete. And Samuel Masters definitely using as much power and much strength to kick out of that, kick out of that brain buster. I'm speaking it now. Technically grateful, technical P. Deleted. What? Who's up? On the front flip kick. Oh my gosh, and, and barely, barely getting that shoulder up, barely getting that two count, barely, barely getting that win with Samuel Masters when getting that pin. But he'll switch, kick out. This is some high, high octane offense right now. And a, and a form 
of a mule kick. And DJ Carter, DJ Carter, Jesus, hitting his strong forearms. Oh my gosh, what a boot. One, two, go. I almost called it, but it was all. I was going to call that, I think I think DJ may have said oof when he fell, but I mean... Oh, damn, he didn't do it. Well, he didn't need to. He needed to get that straight strike in. And, oh my gosh, Team POS being a piece of shit like they usually are and pulling the referee out of the ring. Oh, you thought you was getting that three. He thought, he definitely thought, he thought, we thought, we thought he was getting that three. Oh my gosh, and William Stan Bright taking action. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, I think I think I know. Is a is a top rope, top rope cutter. The old face, old face. That could be it. That could be it. One. Obsolete. And an obsolete was that old face for the for the three count because it didn't happen. No. What the hell? Hey, wait a minute. What's, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, and the back sandal to the back. He broke him down like a big thing. Oh my gosh. And these two are going back and forth. The actual legal men are actually spent in the ring. They are down. I love my rice cakes. And a front flip kick. Getting all of, got all of that. He's trying to nigga fuck his cornbread. Uh, 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 like me. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think kill switch is kill switch is up. But I don't think he saw DJ Carter with that roundhouse. Oh my god! He's dead. Hit him with that knee and a brain buster. It is definitely indeed over. Ladies and gentlemen, you Oh my god. I can't believe he went there, but I'ma just say this that we don't condone the uh, the actions of one WCF, but we will say this that we will be back with more BEWA warfare. Stay tuned as technically great celebrate their win and celebrate their number one contenderships for the tag team titles. Stay tuned for more.